Hello book lovers and welcome to Book Talk Radio Club. My name is Claire Perkins and today I'm talking to author Landa Campbell. Landa's novels Forever and a Night and Dark Experiments are in the paranormal romance genre. Hi Lana, first of all welcome and thank you for coming on Book Talk Radio Club. Thank you, I'm glad to be here Claire. Thank you very much. So Lana, give Book Talk Radio Club's listeners a short synopsis of your books. Okay, well my first book in my series um, is Forever and a Night. It's a vampire series. Okay. And um, the first book is about Mia, she's a sous chef, and at her restaurant she meets billionaire... Uh, Nathan Davenport, and he tries to come on to her, mm -hmm. and she's not interested because they have they share nothing, you know. Uh, no, they share nothing, you know, as far as uh, commonalities. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is taken with her, and he bewitches her. He entrances her. He's a vampire, and he entrances her and um, feeds from her two or three times. Okay. And she doesn't. Really Remember it. He um, blocks her memories of it. But anyway, she falls in love with him and uh, doesn't know that he's a vampire when she does so. But when she finds out, she's horrified. But um, there's this uh, feral vampire in the story too that's after Nathan, and uh, she plays a big role in um, bringing the two of them together, um, but not, you know intentionally <laughs> right okay and what about book two well book two is um in book one she has three grown daughters okay mm. and um one of them is still in college and she, uh but the one uh oldest daughter tiffany is the heroine in book two okay and uh, yes she uh is funky and uh has just an attitude, and she says what she feels like saying, and she's a real fun character. She's a real fun character to write. She really was. <laughs> Her love interest is Dr. Christian Lamond. He's an OBGYN for vampires. <laughs> okay. So, in my stories, obviously, vampires have babies, <laughs> and uh, she goes to work for him, and she's known him for 12 years. She knew him through her mother, because in book one, um, Dr. Christian Lamont was Mia's um, doctor when she, uh, I'm telling a little bit too much about the story, but she was turned into a vampire, Mia was, right. in book one. And so in book two, um, Tiffany and Christian have known each other for 12 years, and there's an attraction that's always sparked between them, but they never... Um, did anything about it because she's human and he's a vampire. Right. But when she goes to work for him, they're so close to one another, you know, working so close to one another, you know, sparks fly. Sure. But um, there's an angel of death that has been um, poisoning his vampire patients, and there's been multiple miscarriages, and even uh, one of the pregnant vampires dies. And Tiff Tiffany falls victim to this angel of death and is poisoned too. And the only way Christian can save her is to turn her into a vampire. And so that's what happens in that story. Okay. So tell me something. Paranormal romance has its roots in um, gothic fiction. Is there a particular book that inspired you to write in this genre? Well, not that's gothic per se, but what happened is, as far as what got me started writing... Um, paranormal romance, vampire romance um, specifically, is I have three daughters, and my two younger ones were really into Twilight um, back about 2006, 2007, when I started writing the first book in my series, and um, I wanted to write something that was more geared toward adults, because right. of course Twilight is geared toward teenagers. Okay. And my heroine, Mia, in my first book is 40 some years old. So mm. she's got like the three grown daughters. And it appeals to um, people that are, you know, like romance that are, you know, a little bit older. And there's not a lot of that out there. Most of the books that you read these days, the heroines are teenagers or, you know, 20s or something sure. like that. So, 
that's what I was after when I wrote that book. Okay, according to uh, 2013 statistics, among writers of paranormal, paranormal romance, 50% are women and 43% are men. Although that's not a huge gap, why do you think women tend to write more about paranormal romance than men? And that's a good question. I pondered that one, <laughs> I, and I'm not exactly sure I know. But I do think that on the whole, women tend to enjoy romance novels more than men do. And I think that, you know, um, women authors uh, enjoy paranormal romance because of the fact that they want to live outside the realm of, of, you know, reality for a little bit when you're in the throes of a very good book, you know. So I think that's probably part of it. So who are your books aimed at? Pardon? I'm sorry, who are your books aimed at then? Um, because like I said, you know, Mia was, um, an older vamp or an older human, uh, mm. woman and, um, Tiffany is in her mid thirties by the time the book is written. Uh, the second book is written. So I would say older females. Right. Yes. Okay. Did you self publish your novels or did you go the route of traditional publishing? I went the route of traditional publishing with both books. Okay. But my first book, my uh, publishing company closed, so it's now self-published. So I would have to say both. <laughs> but so, I did um, get published by both. Both books were published by traditional publishers. I see you're receiving some good reviews over on Amazon. Congratulations. Tell me, as an author, what was the best moment for you? The first sale of Forever in a Night or the first feedback for it? But the first review that I got in was equally as exciting because um, that book has received nothing but four and five star reviews. It's It's wonderful. It's a really good story and it's a good storyline and people are loving it. Good. And uh, the second book has only had about 13 or 14 reviews and um, it's it's been really, really popular too. Fantastic. yeah. Good about it. So tell me, what's next for Lana Campbell? Well, right now, my third book in the series um, is at uh, Bella Tula Publishing, waiting, you know, to hear back from sure. them about publishing that one. That book is about um, Mia's uh, second oldest daughter. Her name is Chelsea, and she is dying of a uh, brain tumor, and she. Uh, is an OBGYN for vampires too, but she's human. And she's worked in the bee clinic with Christian, um, the vampire from my second story, and some others. And uh, she has realized that there is no cure for her disease, but if she turns into a vampire, there is, because then she no longer has the brain tumor. So that story is is in the works right now being published. That's fantastic. So tell me something, Lana, where can Book Talk Radio Club listeners purchase your books? Amazon. Right. Um, the first, the name of my first book is Forever and a Night by Lena Campbell. Okay, you go to Amazon and just um, uh, search uh, Forever and a Night, Lena Campbell. My second book is Dark Experiments by Lena Campbell. And that's where you can find my books, is on Amazon. Wonderful. That's absolutely well. Well, that's fascinating. I, I never knew so much about vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lana. Please come back on Book Talk Radio when you've published your next book. I'd love to chat with you and hear more. In the meantime, good luck for the future. And thank you, everyone, for listening to Book Talk Radio. Bye, Lana.